Time to check back in with Chris Crocker. This time for a look at your first alert weather forecast. The weekend is here and well, we've got some planning to do. Chris, what do you have for um, us? We have been looking forward to this weekend. It is still looking good, especially for Saturday. Your forecast first for tonight. Last of those showers will be wrapping up soon. Partly cloudy, chilly, an overnight low in the 30s. Tomorrow, look for partly to mostly cloudy skies. The clouds increase the second part of the day with a high of 57. Our high today, 56. 61 is average. No measurable precipitation at the airport, but you may have had some at your house. I've had reports of new at, from Newport of up to a quarter inch. Temperature right now in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene are in the 50s and on the Doppler radar you can see some isolated showers and thunderstorms continuing to move east through the region. Those will not be with us for long. Expect dry conditions overnight and in your 24-hour forecast high pressure builds in for tomorrow with a system approaching for Sunday. That's the next round of rain Saturday night and into Sunday. Although Sunday does not look especially damp. Most of the day will be dry. Overnight lows tonight in the 30s, highs tomorrow in the 50s and 60s. Your seven day forecast. Boy, once that chance of showers is done on Sunday, we are on easy street with some sunshine and a warming trend that takes us into territory we have not been in in months and months, mid 70s by Thursday and Friday. Here at Sacred Heart Children's Hospital with Children's Miracle Network and Amber from Sandpoint. How are you, Amber? Good, how are you? But now, what is this thing drifting away right here? <laughs> um, my blood pole. <laughs> uh, you have been coming here once a month for years from Sandpoint. Tell us why. Um, I have beta thalassemia major, so I get blood transfusions every three weeks to keep my body going. <laughs> and, and when you come here every three weeks, you're telling me it is a day-long process. You've been here since, what, 8 this morning? Yeah around there and then will you be done eight at, night. <laughs> eight at night now this is where children's miracle steps in M miracle network you're here all day eight to eight but they keep you busy with fun things tell us about what you do while you're having your blood transfusions um i do like arts and crafts here i talk to the nurses because they're really cool they're really cool nurses i love all of them um I walk around <laughs> sometimes i go to the mall because we don't really have a mall in sandpoint that's where i'm from so yeah it's good <laughs> and you'll be doing this the rest of your life yes <laughs> yeah well, and, and they take very good care of you here. We are glad that you have this amazing facility uh, to keep your condition under control. And Amber, all the way here from Sandpoint, that's a bit of a drive for you and your family. Yeah, like two hours, three hours. Right. So yeah. if you are watching tonight, chances are there is a child in your neighborhood, down the block, at your school, or perhaps even in your family that benefits from the services here at Chil from Children's Miracle Network and at Sacred Heart Children's Hospital. So please take the time, make that call, log on to KXLY.com and support the miracles that happen here, like Amber, uh, every single day. Nadine? Boy, once a month. That's a long trek, but I'm glad she's getting the help she needs. Thanks so yes. much, Chris. And. Uh